Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. I completely forgot my intro. Okay, so today I have for you guys my boxy charm unboxing slash get ready with me. So what I'm going to be doing is showing. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys everything that I got in my box, and then we're going to be getting ready with it. And I will also tell you the price of everything, and then insert the total of what the box is worth somewhere up here. Okay, so the theme for this boxy charm is all access. Okay, so the first thing that I have in here is this Dr. Grant Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleep Mask, and this is just what this looks like. I will also insert a clip of me um, putting it on. I actually really like this. If you see in that clip last night, my face seemed really red and irritated. I had a lot of breakouts. I put this mask on last night before bed, slept with it on obviously, and then when I woke up this morning, my skin looks so much better. My breakouts aren't as noticeable or prominent or anything like that. And so that was a big plus. And so that was a big plus. So I'm guessing that this mask, like whenever it says it helps with, because it says it deeply hydrates, moisturizes to reduce redness and signs of irritation, blocks in moisture to prevent water loss. So I think irritation could also be like, breakouts and things like that obviously because it did help a lot of my under the skin bumps actually go down a lot so i do actually like this mask it's the only thing that i have tried so that way i could talk to you guys about it today <laughs> and this mask is 52 dollars and obviously everything in the boxy charm is and so that was a big plus so i'm guessing that this mask like whenever it says it helps with because it says it deeply hydrates moisturizes to reduce redness and signs of irritation Locks in moisture to prevent water loss. So I think irritation could also be like breakouts and things like that, obviously, because it did help a lot of my under the skin bumps actually go down a lot. So I do actually like this mask. It's the only thing that I have tried, so that way I could talk to you guys about it today. <laughs> um, a full size product. So this is 1.7 ounces. And like I said, it, it don't take a lot to moisturize your face. And the retail price of this is $52. The next thing that I have in here is a Violet Voss Essentials eyeshadow palette. And this is just what it looks like. Really pretty eyeshadow palette. Great for fall. You could also use it for summer. It's like all the seasons in one palette. So I can't wait to use this. And this is retails for $29. The next thing I have in here is this Noda five piece brush set by Royal and Lane Nickel. And so this is just what these look like. And they have this pretty cool texture on them if you can see. And this is just what these look like. And I will be using these today. Five piece brush sets like a crease brush, shader brush, pencil brush, um, blender brush, and like an angled brush. That would be good for your brow. So it says line, shade, detail, smudger, and crease. So. The next thing I got is this Blickety Black Eyeliner by Hank and Henry. So this is just what this looks like. Let me see. Oh, and that brush set retailed for $27.95. Sorry if you hear King Key. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, and he decided to wake up. I I'm trying to film before I start working today because I missed last week again because Ethan started football practice, so I had to try to adjust to a new schedule again so i decided during his speech therapy on monday wednesday monday wednesdays and sometimes on fridays i will be editing videos to get those up oh so there is a ball in there so that way you can actually get the product out so it's a very very fine tip liner and yeah i guess mm, this doesn't look black this actually looks brown i feel like it looks brown but i could be tripping i don't know whatever and then the last oh and this retails for twenty dollars last thing in the box is this billion dollar brow the micro blade micro blade effect brow pencil so this is just what it looks like standard packaging it almost looks like a liquid liner until so you open it and then it has a tip like it has a brush with the three little tips on it I see what she meant now. Okay, so I have mine in the shade shade dark. So it does give you that micro brow of micro blade effect. Like if you swatch it, it gives you like the three little hairlines to imitate brush hair hair like strokes. 
and I'm pretty sure this is in the shade dark. That's all it says is dark. And this is in, this retails for $18. Okay, so that is everything that was in my BoxyCharm. So now we can go ahead and get into the video. And we are gonna go ahead and start with the brows. So we're gonna be trying out this Billion Dollar Brows Micro Blade Effect Brow Pencil. I'm pretty sure I extended that tail a lot, but I actually really like this pencil. Um, I feel like it gives me the effect that I like on my brows personally because I'm not somebody who goes in with like the Instagram brow, the pom like I do use a pomade, but it's not very dark, it's not very sharp and things like that. I don't, I don't clean them up or anything like that. So for somebody like me, if you like this kind of brow, you'd actually really like this because I am in love with it right now. The only part that I had a little bit of trouble with was my tail. Okay, so I'm not mad at that brow thing at all. I'm just not used to having a brow this dark and this defined and yeah, so that's the only thing that's weird for me is how dark my brows are right now. But other than that, I think that's a good brow pencil. All these swatches are kind of hard to take off. The eyeliner and the brow. Brow pen. I need to quit calling it a pencil. It's a microblading brow pen. But I like it. I don't have to see a problem with it. Don't have a problem with it at all. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and prime up my lids with my Catrice Concealer. Because if you didn't know, my eyelids are naturally very, very dark. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Violet Floss Violet. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Sand and start buffing that into my crease. And I'm going to be using the Moda Blending Brush or Crease Brush, I think it's called. Yeah, the Moda Crease Brush. And I figured we could do something kind of for fall because, ooh, very powdery. So I don't know if I needed to dust that off. Could actually just set my entire lid with sand. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cause it's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, I'm just gonna set my entire lid. Okay, so now with that same brush, I'm gonna take terracotta and I'm going to buff that into my crease. Okay, now taking my shade brush from that same set, I'm going to go in with the shade Cinnamon and I'm gonna be applying that more precise in my crease and on the outer V of my eye. Took a little bit of work to blend out and it might have been just because of the brush that I chose to use which is a shader brush but it was good to be precise but it, like I said it did take just a little bit to blend out but that I can't complain about that. So now we're just going to go in and do the same thing on the other eye. And my hand is cramping up from blending. <laughs> my 
going in with that terracotta shade and I'm just going to make sure we don't lose any of that orange above that brown. So I'm gonna be taking this little brush right here and I'm going to be cutting my crease. Does anybody else cut their crease and they're like, dang, I did way better on the other eye. I did way better on my second eye than I did my first eye. Anyways, now I'm going to be taking this smudger brush and I'm going to be going in with the shade gold and I'm just gonna be filling in that area where we cut the crease. Don't know if I should spray this shimmer or not. Okay, going back in with cinnamon and I'm just gonna try to clean up around that crease. And I'm not blending or smudging out the harsh line because obviously with the cut crease, you want the harsh line. I'm just deepening up that harsh line, if that makes sense. But out here on the outer edge, I am going to make sure that that is blended. Next thing we're gonna go in with Okay, so right now on the palette, I don't think it's bad. Like I said, I think with the blending, it was more partly on my fault. Be my fault because I didn't use a brush that was precisely for blending. It was more to pack on shade. That's why it's called a shader brush. But in the end, it did work out and the shades did blend beautifully. And so I'm not mad at this palette and for the price, I'm not mad about it either. I do wanna do another look playing with this green. So maybe that one will be coming soon. But yeah, like the palette, it's not bad. Like I said, the blending part may just be my error, my bad, not anything against the palette. So next I will be going in with the Hank and Henry liner and I'm just going to be adding a small wing to my eyes. small wing. That's not really that small. Okay, let me stop because they will get out of control and I'm not really that concerned about making... <laughs> Let's just stop right there <laughs> okay so i am going to go ahead and apply some mascara and add on my pixie lashes and then i will be right back okay so lashes and mascara are on and so i i was gonna stop after i used the products stop recording after i used all the products from my boxy charm but i just realized all i had were like eye area products other than the mask so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and get ready with you guys continue to get ready with you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm doing at this point, is take my rose primer water from Wet n Wild and just spray that all over my face. Next, I'm gonna take my Ulta Beauty Hydrating Face Primer and apply that all over my face. Next, I'm going to take my favorite foundation in the shade 460 Golden Beige, and we're just going to put this on our sponge, dot it on our face, and then blend it out like always. And I'm using my Eco Tool sponge today. It is ripped, but until I get another one, I will be holding on to this thing because I actually really, really like this sponge. <laughs> Okay, 
going back in with that country's concealer and we're just going to conceal and highlight the face a little bit Okay, now I'm not going to set my entire face, but I am going to go in with this Becca Hydra Mist setting powder that I got in my last BoxyCharm. And we're going to set everywhere that we put concealer only. Okay, going back in with the Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take terracotta and I'm going to take it on this detail brush and buff that in on the lower lash line. Take the very tip of that same brush and go back in with cinnamon and just put that towards like um, the outer V. Okay, going back in with my Thrive Cosmetics mascara, and we're just gonna coat the lower lashes. I love this mascara. Weekly became my favorite. Now going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and we're gonna go ahead and bronze the face with that. And I'll be using this other Moda Royal Lang Rain La Royal and Lang Nickel Brush, this is a pointed blush brush, but, but we are going to be using it for con br bronzing slash contouring today. And my sister gave me this brush, but I believe she got this one in a boxy charm as well. Okay, and then for blush, I'm gonna take this blush that I got in an MC, and this is called Making Moves by, it's called Making Moves by Phase Zero, and I'm just going to apply this with my BH Cosmetics number one brush. And then for a highlight, I will be taking this gold shade in my Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. Hey. And then for lips, I will be taking my e.l.f. lip liner in it dark brown. This is just what it looks like, and it's in the shade dark brown. And applying that. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes one more time. Okay, I'm also going to set my brows. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this. Okay, you guys, this is a completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys got in your boxy charms. Let me know if you guys think it's worth the $21. It's the only subscription box that I found that doesn't make you also pay for shipping. Because even with the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, you pay $25 for the box, but you still have to place pay for shipping. But it is a good box, so that's why I stick with it. But hopefully one day Ipsy will change that if you are subscribed subscribe to the Glam Bag Plus. So let me know if, if you like this look. Let me know what you got in your BoxyCharm. I know instead of the Violet Boss palette, some people were getting the Tarte palette um, that um, that has like the eyeshadows and like the contour and stuff like that. Or they got the Too Faced um, natural face palette. And I was really wanting either one of those. I was really wanting a face palette over an eyeshadow palette just because I just decluttered like 13 eyeshadow palettes and now I'm getting them back. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys got down below. If you liked this style of video, give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. Bye. Mwah.